Well, hello there again. I know that you are very happy to see me again and that you need no reminder of who I am. Lenny Erickson, television personality, actor, singer, guitarist, Robert's pride and joy, and most famous citizen, and I also bless Cross Lutheran with membership there. You're welcome. Well, if it isn't Lenny Erickson, the good twin, what brings you to my home on the range? The shooting range, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, you better have a great reason for breaking my concentration and relaxation. Your being here is about as strange as the Baptist in me sitting quiet through an entire Lutheran church service. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I did want to speak to you about church. Oh, now what did that Packer fan do? I've told him, no more Lambo leaps after the sermon. I've also said, be nicer to the band mm -hmm. and pretend to be a fan of Lefsa for the cookie fair. Mm -hmm. No, no, it isn't about him. Well, directly. And if you ever need any muscle involved in correcting Pastor John, just let my evil twin Lanny know. He wears purple for a reason. No, I just wanted to ask about the church budget and to see if we are on target. <laughs> Forgive the obvious pun. <laughs> You're forgiven. And thank you for asking. And the answer is both yes and no. Yes, the budget is on target as its goal is to make Jesus known to the community and the world and to treat our employees fairly. But no, it's not always on goal as people sometimes equate it with what's in the bank. Sometimes, or some months, all is well. And, well, other months, it's if I just completely missed a target instead of shooting it out of the sky. Here, let me tell you a story. Hold on, Pam. If anyone's going to tell a story, I should. After all, I'm a star of stage and screen and a professional actor. But how can you tell a story that you do not know? Uh, shush, shush, shush. Let me worry about that. Once upon a time, well, actually in the present, there was a little church in Roberts, Wisconsin that has a big, big mission ahead of them. And the members, except for my evil twin, are all kind and wonderful and extremely good looking. I like this, keep going, but don't forget to mention how gifted and smart their president is. This isn't about you. It's about them and me. As I was saying, it's a small congregation with a really gifted band that I am in, a terrific council, awesome committees, and a great staff that loves Jesus and the congregation and together, all of them serve God, the community and entire world, but serving also involves a financial aspect or budget, and sometimes that reality is not always passionately remembered. Go on. So far, you've got it right. But in their defense, budgets and amounts can be about as exciting as watching me shoot non-existent targets. Mm -hmm. Well, we must get rid of the idea that the budget is columns and numbers and expenses, but instead is God at work, and is also it is about God's people. I am not going to call God boring or his people boring either. You got that right. The church is the people. And so when we set a budget, it's mostly about the people. <laughs> There's some building stuff too, but really mostly it's just about the people. This includes our members, our children, our adults, the people of Roberts, people everywhere, and our staff. Every dollar and penny received is more than just trying to fairly compensate our staff, though that's really the largest piece of our budget pie. Mm. Yum. I could go for some right now. You're as bad as Pastor John, but I have a pie right here. You do? I do. 
Southern hospitality knows no bounds. We always come prepared. Is pecan okay? Oh, mm -hmm. Actually, let's use this pie as an illustration of our general budget. About three quarters of this pie would be the salaries for our staff. That includes Pastor John, Denise, Amanda, Daniel, Kathy, Mindy, and Barb. They're really the largest piece of this whole pie. The remaining quarter of the pie is divided by the committees, office supplies, utilities, property expenses, and mission support to the wider church. Now, our staff is not receiving extravagant salaries by any means, nor are our committees or any part of the pie is out of whack. It's just the way it is. The more we give, the more we can do beyond making sure that our employees receive compensation for their ministries. So what committees receive the funding from the budget if the budget is realized? Stewardship, mm -hmm. rec, worship, CYF, property? Yup, all of them. Plus, the band can get some music, and so can the choir. Sometimes our AV needs a little tweaking, and sometimes we need to make energy-saving measures to lower our utility bills. Not one penny gets wasted, and if the saints at Cross gave more, well, there'd just be more pie to go around. And if I did not like pecan pie, is there a, another? <laughs> of course. Oh. I just happen to have a good old-fashioned sweet potato pie here. Is this pie also a metaphor? We superstars are, are quick to catch on. <laughs> yup, this pie represents our mortgage. We want everyone to dig in and devour it. So what goes to paying off the building can someday go towards other ministries and projects. And we are so far behind in keeping up with it, it's like Abraham Lincoln and Robert E. Lee are still on speaking terms. Mm. Ah, so the targets are here are to increase the size of the pecan pie so more can be done and to finish off the sweet potato pie so that more can be done. Last year, we asked for everyone to increase their giving by the cost of one cup of coffee per week. I think now we need to still ask for that, but also for a piece of pie to go toward the mortgage. Yup, coffee for the general fund and pie for the mortgage. And this president will breathe easier if those targets are hit. Well, even my evil twin will do his part. Let's hope and pray that the others will too. But right now, I see the paparazzi on the horizon, so I must fly. Good luck hitting all of your, I mean our targets, and you are most welcome for my visit. Driver! <laughs>